Good morning, all of you. Yes, all of you can hear me. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, good morning. Good morning, sir. Okay, let's uh, start with the next point. Last time we have discussed regarding the what is learning agent and the general model of the learning agent or the architecture of the learning agent. And today uh, we are going to learn about the different types of the learning okay which are the different types of the learning uh, with which the learning agent can learn different things just like the human being so first we just need to recap what exactly mean by the learning agent is that last time we were studied so last time we have discussed the learning agent is nothing but the which is a kind of uh, just like the human being artificial human being or it is being also referred as one kind of uh, tool in the artificial intelligence that is capable of learning from its experience just like the human being are capable of uh, learning from the its previous experience here in case of the this a learning agent their previous experience is nothing but their past data and uh, uh, by comparing that data uh, some kind of uh, knowledge can be generated and with the help with the help of that learning agent can learn something and take the decision so here same thing i have mentioned so learning agent is the kind of tool in the ai that is capable of learning from its experiences uh, initially we have to provide some basic knowledge to that learning agent and then the learning agent uh, act on that basic knowledge and then it uh, uh, behave automatically uh, using its uh, previous uh, knowledge and the experience and in that way uh, its learning uh, starts and uh, the way its uh, his experience get increased uh, his uh, performance also get increased just like uh, the case of the human being so that is considered as a learning agent where initially we give some basic knowledge to that learning agent and then learning agent apply the that knowledge and uh, in future that learning agent try to create some new knowledge from that previous knowledge and in this way uh, it goes on storing that knowledge and from that its performance get increased okay so same thing i have mentioned here also the learning agent in ai is a type of agent which can learn from its past experiences or it has the learning capability just like the human beings are having the learning capabilities in the similar way the learning agent as an artificial human or you can consider as a robot also it is also when we build the robot which is having this kind of learning capabilities we can learn which can learn from its previous experience or the uh, previous data past data history then that kind of agent we are considering it as a learning agent okay so this part uh, all that particular uh, its architecture etc etc that last time already we were studied now today what we are going to study is uh, uh, what are the different kinds of learning what are the different kinds of learning uh, using which the learning agent can learn okay so that is our today's point of discussion different types of the learning okay for the learning agent using which different types of the learning the learning agent can learn okay so that is our today's topic and this type of learnings generally are being divided into the three types in that first is the supervised then the unsupervised learning and the reinforcement learning okay so all of you must be knowing in the first unit also we have covered the some part related with this kind of learning supervised and the unsupervised learning i hope all of you are uh, remembering that okay now this supervised learning and the unsupervised learning these are nothing and this reinforcement learning these are nothing but the types of the machine learning okay now you can see the machine learning is nothing but the one of the application or the branch of the artificial 
intelligence if you want the artificial intelligence to be succeed if you want the robot to be behave like human being if you want the robot to be a, a think like the human being then the main thing that should be uh, get implemented is nothing but through the this can become possible only through the machine learning so concept of the machine learning also we have discussed in the first minute uh, only so machine learning is nothing but the application of the ai that provide the system ability to automatically learn and improve from the previous experience without being explicitly program so we don't need to write the program for each and activity that a robot has to be done okay we have to just write the basic uh, programming basic knowledge we have to give to that robot and from that robot if that robot can uh, learn itself and from that uh, basic knowledge if the robot can improve its uh, performance then that particular kind of concept we are referring as a machine learning when the machine learn when the machine learn automatically then that concept is referred as the machine learning how the machine can learn automatically using its past data or the previous experiences understood so here another simplified uh, definition i have mentioned the machine learning focus on the development of the kind of computer program that can access the data and use it use it to learn themselves which can, we can also describe the machine learning as just like the kind of computer program okay which can utilize the data and utilizing that data the machine uh, learn the different things and perform the different activity take the different kind of decision so that is a concept of what the exactly the machine learning and so to so the in order in order to machine to be learn there are the these different kind of algorithms are being utilized okay just like uh, we as a human being we learn from the different way we learn from the different method so in case of the machine there are the different uh, algorithms or the methods using which machine also learns okay now in that first we have that is the supervised learning so this already we have studied in the first unit only so i want to just ask you what do you mean by the supervised learning as a one of the type of the machine learning or types of the learning yes what is mean by the supervised learning yes all of you got the question yes sir what is the supervised learning machine can learn from uh, surrounding environment hmm. now the learning now you are doing now is it come under the category of supervised learning or the unsupervised learning yes supervised learning it is the supervised learning why it is called as supervised learning why can't you say it as unsupervised learning yes because it gives the guidelines and so because here there is a some person who is guiding you under the guidance okay. there is a, there is a somebody who is uh, uh, teaching you something understood means you are learning under the supervision of somebody you are getting you are when you are learning under the supervision of somebody then that is nothing but the referred as a supervised learning okay this part with the example in the first lecture we have studied but here we have in the details the question is if the question will be asked the question will be asked in the second section related with the uh, supervised uh, related with the supervised and the unsupervised learning okay so here the basic concept is what in case of the supervised learning when agent uh, agent can you can consider yourself as a one agent you as a natural agent okay student can be considered as a one of the natural agent if i if i learn from somebody okay if i learn from somebody that time i will become the agent understood 
and from whom i will learn they they will become my supervisor understood now here in this in this ongoing interaction you are the learning agent yes or no yes sir and i am teaching you something that's why here you can consider me as a supervisor or the your guide who is teaching you something understood so if this if if you if the agent learn in this way okay if the agent learn in this way now that kind of algorithm is called as what the supervised learning algorithm got the concept yes sir and now suppose uh, if if for some for for uh, you for some subject for some subject there is a no teacher now in that case what you do sometimes it happens then in that case what is your option what you will do self learn you you used to be learn by yourself only correct you used to be learn yes, by sir. yourself only means you will you become your guide only in that case you are is the only learning agent and you guide you are also the guide of yourself only am i right yes now that kind of learning is what unsupervised learning unsupervised because there is a nobody who is telling you that what is right what is wrong etc etc there is a only you are there and you are deciding what is right what what is wrong and you are learning by yourself only that is nothing but the referred as what the unsupervised learning okay so this uh, with example last time we have seen the same example i am going to repeat here because this question usually ask for the 10 marks with example okay so i hope you have got the concept of what exactly the machine learning and it's the uh, two important types third tomorrow uh, to uh, third we are going to discuss uh, uh, okay if time permit today we will discuss it only but today today we will focus on this supervised and the unsupervised learning okay so here machine learning we have discussed that is nothing but the when the machine learn by uh, when the machine machine learn from the its previous experiences uh, now in case of the machine experience is nothing but its data okay so machine learning is nothing but the one of the branch of the ai or the we can say the application of the ai that uh, uh, give the ability to learn from the experiences or that give the ability to learn from the previous data okay that we are considered as a that machine we are uh, that kind of learning of the machine we are considered as a machine learning and how the machine can learn there are the different ways for the machine to learn and one of that is nothing but the supervised another another is the unsupervised and the next is the reinforcement learn okay so let's see the first one that is the supervised which already we have discussed in short so here the supervised learning the name only indicates what exactly it uh, mean supervised learning is the name indicate the presence of the supervisor as a teacher means when the agent learning agent learn under the supervision of somebody that is being considered as supervised learning so basically supervised learning is the learning in which we teach or train the machine using the data now here i am training you okay here i am training you in the similar way if you want to train the machine if you want to train the machine you have to train the machine using some data okay now in case of the supervised learning you have to train the machine with some label data understood you have to train the machine with some label data what I exactly mean by the label data i will tell you so in case of uh, supervised learning you have to train the machine with some label data that means some data that is already being tagged okay that the uh, particular data which is already being tagged with some correct answer means first you first you need in case of the supervised learning first you need to give training to the machine and how you will give the training to the machine you will give the training to the machine with some correct answers okay you will give, you will give training to the machine with some correct answers understood and after that machine is provided with some new set of examples means after you give training to the machine after that machine is provided with some new set of data or the example so that the supervised learn, learning algorithm uh, analyze the training data 
and produce the correct output from the labeled data understood means in case of the supervised learning first we need to do what first we need to give training to that machine if you want if you want the machine to be uh, work according to the given data first thing in case of the supervised learning is what you need to give the training to the machine first and after you give training to the machine then machine can work accordingly for some new data understood so that is the main thing in case of the supervised learning that uh, if you want to if you want to teach something to the machine by using the supervised learning in that case you have to give compulsory training to the machine after you give training to the machine then only machine can learn and then machine can give you the certain kind of correct output okay just like this interaction is going on i am teaching you something now now you can you can answer in the exam only if i teach you you are getting my point now i am teaching you it is nothing but like i am giving you the training am i right yes yes sir yes now sir. will it happen that the thing i am teaching you here the same question will be asked in the exam will it happen it may be happen it may not be happen yes or no correct or not yes sir but even if the question is asked in the exam which is not directly as explain the supervised learning it may be but the question may be related with the supervised learning then you can answer it or not after after i after i teach you yes of course of course i can answer it uh, once i teach you what exactly mean by the supervised learning then you can create your own examples of that yes or no yes yes sir understood so that is nothing but the first i am giving you the training then when you are appearing for the exam you are using that training you are getting my point you are using that training and then you are trying to give, write the answer or you are trying to give the answer understood so in case of the supervised learning if i don't give any kind of training if i don't teach you anything then it will be difficult for you to learn the different things and to answer the different things yes or no yes but even uh, even i don't teach you and even you you will be able to answer then that will be come under the which category unsupervised unsupervised learning. i hope now the concept is clear okay okay shall we move forward to the next part yes any doubt related with the supervised learning yes no sir no okay. sir so let's see the example to make it more clear now same example you must be remembering this part now this is the basket is given this is the basket is given with some fruits in that basket i hope all of you can able to see it yes sir now here there are the four fruits are given in this basket this is the banana grapes and cherry and some apples are given understood now you have been asked to group this you have to pick up the app you have to pick up the fruits from this basket and you have to make its groups that is the task is given to you now this is now in case of the supervised learning you can see here each of these particular fruit is tagged you are getting each of these fruit is tag is label the label that i am mentioning that in the previous slide label data means each of this particular fruit is given the name here yes or no yes sir so that is called as a tagging so now as you can see ki if something is like this it is called as the banana if something is like this it is called the grape something is like this it is cherry something is like this it is called the apple now okay i have shown you consider before you are not seen this uh, things but now i have shown you ki 
banana look like this cherry look like this grapes look like this apple look like this now i have given you the training what the point yes yes sir i have given you here the training ki what different kind of fruits are look like okay now in case of the supervised learning first step is what give training to the machine consider here you are as a machine so first task is what give training to the machine now i have given you the training what training i have given you ki what kind of fruits are these and how this how these fruits are look like i hope all of you are got trained okay yes sir now after training in case of the supervised learning next task is given here ki now these are the different things are put in front of you okay now all you already learn from your previous work you have already learn from the previous experience which i have given you as a training about the characteristic of the fruit so arranging these fruits it is a very easy, easy task for you now because why it is easy now because you have already learned that okay you have already learned that ki what how the grapes look like what is the color of the grape what is the apple how it look like these things you have already learned so in this case your previous work is called as the training data as a part of the concept of the data mining so your previous work is referred as what the training data so you already learned the things from your training data this is because and this is because you can easily create your response after i uh, after i put this kind of fruit in front of you understood so uh, if i put this fruit in front of you what will be your response yes after i tell you tell me the name of this fruit what will be your response yes after i tell you tell me what is the what is this what is grapes this? grapes how could you able to tell me this how could you able to because you are already because you are already learn that the grapes are look like this understood so from whatever you have learned previously from whatever training you have got previously you are applying that here and you are identifying these things and when you say this is the grape that is nothing but you are consider as your response variable understood now same we can uh, you can put these things in the table and you can easily uh, uh, identify this kind of thing suppose you have taken a new fruit from the basket and then you so you, in your brain the different things get uh, click if something uh, apple come uh, fruit like the apple come in front of you the and uh, fruit like uh, cherry also come in front of you you can easily classify it how you can easily classify it because you have already seen that you already learned that ki what you have learned if fruit is big its color is red its shape is rounded shape with the depression at the top you the things activity get click in your mind in your brain that this kind of if this kind of fruit is there then this name is name of that kind of fruit is what apple understood if you see the small fruit is there but its color is red and it is having the heart shape to nearby globular then you can say it is the cherry if some kind of fruit come from come in front of you like which is big which is green in color and having the long curving cylinder then the things which comes in your brain is nothing but what this fruit is what banana if some fruit comes of come in front of you which is having the small size but it is green and uh, its shape is like round to oval bunch shape cylindrical then the things which comes click in your brain is nothing but it is what grape so once you got the training once the machine get the training then machine apply that training machine apply its previous experience and then machine automatically recognize these kind of things and when machine can learn in this way that particular learning is called as what supervisor 
Understood the example? Yes, sir. Okay. Now you can yes, see the sir. same thing I have put here. So uh, this is called as a classification when you group these uh, fruits in this way. Okay. So uh, super classification comes under the supervised learning. Okay. You have to keep in mind classification comes under the supervised learning. When you when you group the things using the supervised learning, that is called as a classification. Just example we have taken here. We have given the basket of fruits. and you have been asked to group this fruit when you group this fruits then it is called as the classification when you group this fruit according to the your previous experience okay now uh, another uh, thing you can see here uh, that is this is this i have put this uh, this is the thing i have put uh, from the textbook okay this is the example i have taken from the textbook here uh, with the uh, same concept of the supervised learning but it is being just put into the another way in the architectural way okay so you can see here the learning agent is here all of you can able to see yes sir you can consider this as architecture of the supervised learning also okay you can consider this figure as architecture of the supervised learning so you can see here the learning agent is here okay and uh, you can see uh, another uh, thing is here the teacher is here learning agent is here okay and you can see what you are observing here yes what is this yes what is this teacher now oh, this environment i have shown the arrow from the environment to the learning agent and arrow from the environment to the teacher also what does it mean yes what does it mean it means what the teacher can also take the input from the environment teacher can also take the input from input from the environment as well as learning agent can also take the input from the environment understood now here now let's first see here learning agent now see consider you are as a learning agent what you are as a learning agent now initially i i i taught you i give you the training uh, to do some program we take the our example then we'll apply this to the uh, machine okay so initially i taught you how to do the program of uh, addition subtraction this kind of things i told you and then uh, i give you the task do the program to find the even odd number okay what task i give you do the program to find the even odd number in the suppose c language okay now what you will do you will do the program okay and then you will try to generate some output you can see this yes 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 after i give you some task of finding the even odd number you you perform the program and you generate some output here this output we are referring it as what actual output okay yes this much is understood yes or no yes sir yes sir i first what i said i give you the training to do the program of c language and then i give you the task to do the program of finding the even odd number so you perform the you you perform the program okay you do the program and you generate some output here you can see here now this will be checked by whom now actual answer is belong to whom actual answer is to whom actual answer is available with the teacher what how what should be the uh, program of uh, finding the even odd number understood so answer is known by me okay answer is known by me so that what should be the output what how should the program how the program should be written correctly that is nothing but things available to whom that is the thing available to the teacher 
करेक्ट यस सर सो यू डू द प्रो हियर यू आफ्टर आई गिव यू द टास्क यू डू द प्रोग्रामिंग हियर यू शो नाउ नेक्स्ट टास्क इज व्हाट यू शो दैट प्रोग्राम टू मी व्हाट यू शो दैट प्रोग्राम टू मी एंड नाउ व्हाट आई विल डू आई विल चेक यूर प्रोग्राम आई विल चेक यूर प्रोग्राम and i will check whether you have written it correctly or not you are, you can able to see this arrow yes sir from teacher here from teacher this our output is coming actual output is coming from whom learning learning agent means from your side correct yes sir now this actual output is compare with the desire out, desire output here this adder you are seeing here this adder function so your actual output is compare with the desire output here okay now if your if your output is not according to the desired output then what i will tell you yes error then i will tell you that you have made some mistake here you have to do this kind of things uh, you have to use this function like this kind of things i will tell you yes or no correct yes sir yes Now, so when i will tell you when i will check your program and i will i will and i will compare your program with my program with whatever the concept in my mind and then i will give you some suggestion that you have to make this kind of changes now from that you learn something getting yes yes sir from yes, that sir. you learn something and you make changes in your program here got the point yes sir and again you show it to me yes again you show it to me now if it is correct then i will tell you yes okay but again if you make the mistake then again i will give you some suggestion then again you learn something and again you after learning something you make modification in the program and again you generate the output so this is nothing but the approach of supervised learning got this got this architecture yes sir so same thing i have mentioned here learning agent and the teacher both can take the input from the surrounding environment so uh, in or in order to guide you i also have to learn something yes or no yes sir so that's why the arrow is been shown like this the teacher can also take the input from the environment as well as learning agent can also take the input from the environment it means what learning agent can also learn by itself also and learning agent can take the help of the teacher also and then it can go on improving its performance so here same thing i have mentioned teacher has the desired answer key for the given problems just like example i told you whereas the learning agent process the given input and get an output here okay here it generate learning agent generates its actual output this actual output is subtracted from the desired output by the adder here you can see this actual output is subtracted from the desired output by the adder here okay which shows the error in the actual output so if the output generated by the learning agent is not according to the desired output then error will be generated yes or no yes sir <laughs> so this error will be generated and here you will get some new learning teacher will tell you what changes you have to do again and after that you again do the modification and this process will continue and in this way the learning agent will go on learning the same thing i have mentioned this error is given as the input to the learning agent so that it can learn from this error and while generating output for the next time it can try to remove the error understood after i give you the suggestion will you make the same mistake again somebody may make it okay it depends 
but you know the what i am trying to tell you how the learning agent learn in case of according to the supervised learning so as for the name suggest the supervised learning is performed under the supervision of the supervisor or the teacher and that is the reason that that particular algorithm is referred as what the supervised learning which is nothing but the most popular algorithm related with the machine learning related with the how the learning agent learns understood the supervised learning yes sir okay okay let's uh, join just after the one minute okay one minute remain then we'll cover the uh, unsupervised learning also okay okay just rejoin after the one minute okay let's see the unsupervised learning which is clearly uh, you can see the uh, opposite to the supervised learning okay that is the unsupervised learning now here uh, you already in the basic discussion we have seen unsupervised unsupervised learning is the training of the machine using the information that is neither classified or nor label allowing the algorithm to act on that information without any guidance so in case of the supervised learning just we have discussed the training has to be given okay and then only the machine can uh, learn further or perform the activity but here in case of the unsupervised learning thing is what the machine has not given any kind of training the machine don't get any kind of label data that is the main thing you should keep in mind what is the difference in case of the supervised learning machine get what kind of data label data understood and from that machine learn but in case of the unsupervised learning what is the thing machine don't get any kind of label data or machine don't get any kind of train data machine has to be utilize whatever data available and the machine has to learn itself so here the task of the machine is to group the unsorted information according to the similarities patterns differences without any prior training of the data okay so unlike not like the unsupervised learning no teacher is provided that means no training will be given to the machine in case of the unsupervised learning and therefore machine is restricted to find the hidden structure in the unlabeled data by itself now most of the time question is being possible on this topic is nothing but the comparison between supervised learning and the unsupervised learning okay and what is the main difference here what is the main difference between the supervised learning and the unsupervised learning yes can you able to tell me what is the main difference between the supervised learning and the unsupervised learning yes supervised learning data is labeled in unsupervised learning data is not labeled yes. uh, training is provided in supervised learning and supervised learning training is not provided yeah so various differences you can write okay according to the what is the weightage of the question okay so let's apply it uh, let's see it with the example now here you can see the same example i am using here that we have discussed in the first unit only now this is the this is the case of the supervised learning and this is the same example we are applying it for the unsupervised learning okay now as you can see in case of the supervised learning uh input data something input data is like this and before you uh, before we give some task we we used to give training in case of the supervised learning like what kind of training like we used to give label to this here i have mentioned the annotation these are the apples this kind of training we already used to provide now this point of this kind of thing you are obviously this is like the brain structure this is like the brain okay so already the in case of the supervised learning already the training is given okay to the agent he app, uh, this if this if this kind of fruit is there it is called as a apple so when new thing comes when the such kind of fruit comes in front of uh, some agent now agent already learn from its previous data in case of the supervised learning what he has learned if the 
big fruit is there its color is red rounded in shape like this kind of things then automatically things get click in your mind and you predict that it is a apple so this is the case of what super i learn where first the training is given and according to the training you identify the different things or the agent identify the different things suppose now in case of the unsupervised learning suppose you have given the basket of fruits and it is filled with the some different types of the fruit your task is to arrange these fruits in the groups okay now this time you don't know anything about the fruits now what you have to consider here you are not seen this kind of fruits before you don't know anything you are completely blank okay you have to imagine these things and you have been asked to group these fruits now now how you will do this using their shapes and patterns so you will apply some physical characteristic what you will apply you will apply some physical characteristic and then you will try to group that fruits yes or no you will try to arrange that fruits is it the way yes or no yes yes so as i said you don't know anything about this fruit ki tumhi agodar he asha prakar che fruits tumhi bagitlele nahi then how you will arrange these things so you will arrange these according to its physical characteristic understood now what kind of physical characteristic you will apply for example this kind of fruits are given to you now how you will arrange it so you will apply the different kind of characteristic to these kind of uh, fruits like you can see suppose first characteristic you can keep in your mind like for example if you apply the characteristic as a color okay then you will arrange them on the basis of the color so on the basis of the color now what kind of colors are there in these two important colors are there for example which are that red and the green correct red and the green so red color group so we will try to see that basket and then you will try to classify that fruit that red color fruit now what are the red color fruit in that basket apple and cherry apple and cherry thoda far color vegla hai it doesn't matter aplala fakt it study karay so apple and cherry so you will arrange this apple and cherry in which group first group these are being considered as a red color group. next is what green color so under the green color which fruits will come banana and grapes and the grapes so this will arrange like this tumhi classify karu shakla ka nahi anla are you able to group them yes 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 sir you have not got any kind of training still you could able to group them understood that is called as what what kind of learning unsupervised unsupervised here you are applying some physical characteristic and try to group this kind of things or the fruits understood now you can apply the further characteristic also to make it more uh, clearly grouping like you can apply the color along with the color you can apply the size also red color big size so under the red color big size which fruit will come definitely apple red color small size will be cherry. cherry green color big size will be the banana green color small size will be the grapes so this is nothing but the unsupervised learning where you are not taken the any kind of training first but still you can able to group these fruits how by using some kind of patterns what kind of patterns using some kind of similarities using some kind of differences this is being considered as a patterns understood and when you group when you group this fruits according to its physical characteristic then that is called as the clustering when you group these fruits according to the some differences according to the some similarities without any kind of label data without any kind of training data then that is called as what the clustering that is another main difference in case of the supervised learning and the unsupervised learning now grouping of the 
grouping of the things which is being done using the supervised learning that is called as what classification and grouping of the things which is being done using the unsupervised learning that is called as what clustering you are getting the difference yes grouping of the fruits yes, that you have done in the supervised learning that was called as the classification but this grouping that you have done here using some similarities differences using some physical characteristics that grouping is called as what clustering getting the point yes sir. yes sir so this is nothing but the and same thing you can put it in the another way okay you can put it in the architectural way like this also you can put now what difference you are finding here as compared with the uh, architecture of the supervised learning yes what difference you are observing here no teacher sir provided in this yes here no teacher is provided simply the input is given some data is provided and that data is also the not labeled data and here you can see the learning agent so learning agent utilize its own knowledge learning agent apply its own knowledge and create some model and from that it try to generate some output okay again and again he goes on doing these experiments until the clustering is not get completed or some output is not getting generated the same thing i have mentioned here the unsupervised learning does not have any teacher which means that the correct answer is not known to the learning agent but applying its uh, own experiments it try to generate some output so un unsupervised learning try to learn on its own from the patterns without corresponding the uh, output values so which is opposite to the supervised learning uh, where uh, in case of the supervised learning you can see we have the correcting models but in case of the unsupervised learning we don't have any kind of correcting models correcting models in the sense in case of the supervised learning there you have the teacher which tells you where you have made the mistake but in case of the unsupervised learning in case of the unsupervised learning there are the no teacher available the agent itself has to do the all the kinds of uh, this kind of processing and has to generate the output got the point yes sir okay so one uh, one kind of learning is remain in this that is the reinforcement learning that tomorrow we will discuss okay okay sir okay so you can go through all these things and you can ask me the doubts if you have any okay tomorrow Thank you all of you. Yes sir. Thank you sir. Thank you.